Prenatal refers to before birth, while a diagnosis is a decision on whether a disease or condition exists. Doctors can make a decision on whether a disease or condition exists in a foetus before it's born, in other words a prenatal diagnosis, by performing a karyotype using cells from the foetus. During foetal development, the amniotic sac, amniotic fluid, chorion and embryonic membrane have formed from the embryo and therefore have the same genetic information or DNA as the embryo. The embryo will ultimately develop into a foetus and so these structures will share the same genetic information as the foetus. Amniocentesis is one method by which we can obtain the cells of the foetus in order to perform a karyotype. This is done by inserting a needle through the abdominal wall and myometrium in order to remove some of the amniotic fluid. Recall that this fluid was produced from the embryo and therefore will contain the cells of the developing foetus. These cells can then be centrifuged and karyotyping can be performed. The second method is known as chorionic villus sampling and this is done by inserting a catheter tube into the vagina and taking a sample of the chorion. Part of the chorion is indicated here, it's an extra embryonic membrane that surrounds the foetus. The cells that we can therefore obtain from a sample of it would contain the same genetic information as the foetus. It should be noted that there is some risk of termination or miscarriage with both of these procedures although amniocentesis carries less risk than chorionic villus sampling. Ultrasound and 3D imaging can be used to determine the fetal position and thus try to minimise these risks. Finally, remember that amniocentesis and chorionic villus sampling are not treatments, they are merely methods to provide information so that informed decisions can be made.